civilian woman here on Teratupa? Yes, sir. She was aboard the transport plane that made that emergency landing here this morning, and, sir, they'll need three days for repairs. Three days? <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, what does she look like? Oh, just terrific, sir. One of those new C-51s. It... Not the plane, you idiot. The woman. <laughs> oh, the woman. Yes, sir. Well, um... She's about your height, sir. Oh, big woman. <laughs> uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, and very attractive, sir. Mm. Captain. Mm -hmm. Her name's Kate O'Hara. Kate O'Hara. <laughs> oh, I'll take you home again, Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, but I think there's one thing you should know. Oh, never and mind I... what you think. Now, where should I be finding this fair Colleen? Well, sir, she's right outside the door. Now. Oh, she's right outside the door, sir. Is she now? Well, faith and begara. I'll just be fetching her myself. Oh, good luck, sir. <laughs> Come on, little John! <laughs> Hiya, honey. Pull your wall and join the fun. <laughs> Lieutenant. That was your pilot, Miss O'Hara. Oh, listen up and call me Kate. Kalani Kate. <laughs> Kalani Kate. Now, you listen to me, Miss O'Hara. He informs me that you're being evacuated to Australia by urgent order of the MPs on Bora Bora. Oh, a bunch of old fuddies. You see, I had this little cafe, Kalani Kate's, the friendliest saloon on the island. Yes, it was so friendly, they had to have it burnt to the ground. Now, you listen to me. I intend to see that you behave yourself while you're here and stop flicking ashes on my desk. Okay, honey. And don't call me honey. I'm going to assign you to the nurses area while you are here. They will supply whatever companionship you might feel you need. You got male nurses? I have nothing, repeat, nothing to do with the men on this base. Okay, all right. And furthermore, I expect to beat Jack in a jiff, honey. Miss O'Hara. We can't, baby. Come on, he Kate. Hey. <laughs> Sir, they seem to be old friends. Yes, they probably served time together. <laughs> Follow me. Hey, hey, you guys, uh, I want you to meet an old pal of mine, Kalani Kate. Hi, Hi Kate. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, say, Clint, you old sweet dog. It sure is good to yeah, see you. Yeah, how about that? Uh, Miss O'Hara. What do you want, honey? Don't call me honey. Oh, whatever you want, sugar. <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter will escort you to the nurse's area. The rest of this base is off limits. Off limits? What did I do? Oh, now, Captain, aren't you going a little bit overboard? Yeah, after all, just because she called you honey. Shut up. <laughs> Carpenter, take that away. Yes. Oh, quit. Now, yes. now, he calls the shots around here. Well, that's what I like to give him, a good shot. Please. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. you know what they say. Um, well, you keep away from her, and that's an order. I'm running a naval base here, not a... a Friendship Club. Say that again. Aye, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, sir. Fink. All right, none of that, Tinker. After all, he's still an officer. Okay. Sir Fink. Well, that's more like it. Never mind, Skipper. You'll figure out some way to see her again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. For once, Binghamton did me a good turn. Oh, no, Skip, you can't pass up on a chick like that. It's un-American. Hold it, hold it. Believe me, Kate's a great gal, but she just spells trouble, boys. Such trouble we should all have. All right, belay that, Willie. If Skipper wants to be out of his mind, that's his privilege. <laughs> Sorry, Skip. Better take a man sometimes. <laughs> All right, Chuck, uh, you come on along with me, and the rest of you guys go over and draw your supplies, and we'll meet you back on the boat. Come on, let's go. The skipper's been out here too long. Oh, passing oh. up on a chick he's like that. He's He's gone island happy. Ah, uh, don't worry. We'll straighten them out. Now, here's what we do. First, we got to get the skipper out of the way. Well, no, what you got to do is always watch those shoals that are... Oh, I'm a very Hi, baby. I'm here. Why, <laughs> but... 
you're a real doll. Sending the boys for me, Quint. That was a beautiful heist. You mean my guys cooked all this up? Uh, now, wait a minute. You being here is a direct violation of Captain Binghamton's orders. Fancy that, Sonny. Well, see you around. Well, well now, wait a minute. See here, uh, I'm an ensign in the United States Navy. It's been nice seeing you. Thank you away. Guess I'll wait outside, Skip. <laughs> Fred, baby, and all for me. Oh, Quint, I could hug you for this. Now, 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 now Kate, look, I had nothing to oh, do with this. Oh, now, Quint, you can't blame an old sweetie for being sentimental. Oh, uh, no, 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 of course not. <laughs> now, give me back my wallet. <laughs> just want to see if you still had my picture in it. Uh, uh, plus, uh, a few of some old presidents, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, you're a whole lot faster than when I first met you. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello, Missy. Uh, well, now, uh, take off, take off there. <coughs> hello, Missy? Uh, well, uh, he, he's my Filipino houseboy. Uh, name of Rodrigo. <laughs> he, he don't sound like a Rodrigo. Oh, uh, uh, champagne? <laughs> champagne? Yeah, how about that? Oh, no. Out, out. Comes with a blue plate special. <laughs> Gypsies. You're romantic, huh, Skip? Get out! <laughs> oh. Now that was darn sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're just full of bright ideas. Oh, your magic spell is everywhere. Oh, I knew you well and found you fair. What in a Sam Hill... Any minute now, we'll get the rockets. Quint? Yeah? Quint, you know, you're a great guy. I mean, a really great guy. And, well, I was just uh, wondering... If you could put the bite on me. No thanks. But, Quint, all I want is a measly 500 bucks. Five bucks? Hey, condition red. Condition red, fire in the paint locker. Fire in the what? In the paint locker. Is it the nips? No, it's worse than that. It's all red bottom. I just said. <laughs> oh, uh, oh uh, sorry, sir. I, I was just uh, telling the skip uh, we ought to paint the boat. It, it sure looked great with a red bottom. Yeah. How <laughs> red bottom you in a minute? Get out of here. Yeah, but, well, no sense me hanging around. <laughs> Mikhail is operating again. Huh? Uh, 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 well, Captain, would you like a little bubbly, sir? <laughs> grab a seat, honey. I'm not going to grab anything, and don't you call me honey. <laughs> really got you this time, Mikhail. Disobeying a direct order. And as for you, Miss O'Hara... Now, ease off there, Captain. It is nothing so terrible. After all, Kate and I are old friends, and we're just having a bit of a reunion dinner. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be Now, Mikhail, you know that I am not a harsh man. Oh, I know that, sir. Yes, sir. Well, this little reunion is only going to cost you a month's pay. And you, you're going to be under armed guard. A month's pay? Armed guard? There seems to be an echo in here. Come on, you heard me. Out, 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 out. <laughs> Cheers, sir, Captain. <laughs> Sir, oh, oh, watch where you're going. You got one hole in your head. You want to try it for two? Oh, no, sir. One's quite enough. Oh, sir. This is from Admiral Rochester at Conflict for your immediate attention. All right, all right. Read it to me. Read it. Read it's it. a new directive, sir, regarding rotation. Personnel with over 24 months of combat duty are to be shipped home. All right. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. 24 months. 24 months and we'll ship. How many months has Mikhail been here? Well, 25 months, but, sir, the... <laughs> no, but, sir, me, not cutting his travel orders. But, sir, the directive <laughs> best... Oh, Wally, 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 this is your lucky day, boy. I'm finally free of Mikhail. I'm finally free of life. is beautiful. Life is gay. Cross the West stand still. Oh, this is wonderful. Sir, sir, please, you're not as free as you think you are. <laughs> why, why? The directive clearly specifies that only married men are <laughs> eligible. Married men. Married men. better than ever. Don't you see what you... <laughs> Married, huh? Married. <laughs> and Mikhail? Uh, here's a bat. Yes, sir. Oh, that's dirty. Slacker. But, sir, it, 
It was a very good thought. Well, a foul luck, Carpenter, just when I came so close. Oh, why couldn't Mikhail be stuck with a wife like the rest of us? What respectable woman would have him, sir? You're right, she'd have to be it. You were saying, sir? I should marry Mikhail? <laughs> why not? You're made for each other. It says you're old sweethearts. I heard you say that. You said that. Oh, sure, we had a few laughs together. But, uh, what's come over you since last night? Uh, well, I, I admit I acted badly. Like a solid gold louse. Look, I'm clean. What's in this for you? Miss O'Hara, why don't you concentrate on what is in this for you? For instance? For instance, like $370 a month. $370? Uh-huh, that's from your Uncle Sam. It's your monthly allotment check as Mikhail's wife. Yeah, but I'm a saloon keeper. Who needs a husband around? Well, who said anything about him being around? Don't you see? That's just it. You're going to be safe and sound in your own little saloon in Australia. He's going to be here. All you're marrying is a monthly allotment check for $370. You know, you're right. Quint and I were made for each other. <laughs> and I was starting to roll it tight. Welcome home, baby. Hey, Miss O'Hara, you're back. It's been nice seeing you again. Yeah, but you, but I, I'm going to be outside again, Skip. <laughs> Sit down, honey. Relax. You must have had a hard day at the war. Huh? Don't you realize, honey? It was fate that dropped me on this base. It was engine trouble. Let's face it, Quint. You're my man. You mean you're pigeon? All I want out of life is to be Mrs. Quint McHale. Ho, oh, ho, ho! You should live so long. You're gonna marry me. Oh, uh, come on now. Refreshments? No, 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 no. Shove off, shove off. It's all right. Me and Rodrigo, we're great pals. Huh? Oh, that a swell, swell. <laughs> oh, boy, if old Binghamton ever found out about him. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, Quint, you're going to marry me or else. Rodrigo. Hey, well, we'll go put him in a prison camp. I'll hate myself as I do it, but I'll do it. Yeah, you would. Oh, Quint, you've made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Well, how do I look, honey? Just lovely, Miss O'Hara. Oh, how about that? Me in a wedding dress made of old parachutes. <laughs> the boys in the back room should see me now. Oh, we're all so excited. Commander McHale's a great catch. Well, it wasn't easy. Imagine, you'll be able to fly home together. Huh? Oh, didn't you know? Once he's married, the commander's eligible for rotation. Uh, uh, rotation? He'll be shipped back to the States, and you can settle down together. You mean I'm going to have to live with a big baboon? <laughs> what? Me can keep house scrubbing floors, waltzing with a vacuum cleaner. Big pardon? Nothing, that four-eyed, four-striped rat. Get me out of this! Forget it, Captain. The wedding's off. Unless, uh, you two are interested. Get your hands off me. What's the matter? What do you mean the wedding is off? Why, 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 why? A little birdie told me about that rotation gimmick. No dice. Well, you can't back out now. So sue me for breach of promise. Uh, well, what about the allotment check? You pulled a fast one on me. You said Mikhail didn't come with it. I want a saloon, not a husband. Miss O'Hara, I am the commanding officer of this base, and as the commanding officer, I order you to marry Mikhail. Order me? I'm a civilian. Yes, you're a civilian. A civilian with quite a juicy record in the islands. Operating an illegal establishment, passing bad checks, malicious mischief, rolling sailors. Listen, uh... Nobody's perfect. <laughs> you marry Mikhail, or I'll have you turned over to the police in Australia along with this. So you take your pick, Miss O'Hara. Mikhail or jail? You'd pull a dirty trick like that just to ship him out. President Roosevelt has his war aims, and I have mine. <laughs> honey. Don't call me honey. <laughs>
sir. No business allowed. Hey, not even the bridegroom? Sorry, sir. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, thanks. Friend of the groom. <laughs> Come in. Quit, baby. Well, boy, you're sure playing it up to the hilt. Yeah, I sure am. Listen, I want to talk to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, Kate. Look, there's $500 in here, and it's all yours if you turn me loose. Huh? I'd grab it in a second, honey, but Binghamton's got us boxed in. Binghamton? Yeah, the Navy's got some new rule. If you get hitched, they can ship you home. Ship me home? Why, that... Wait a minute. You mean to tell me he's the one behind this whole wedding bit? Father of the bride. I don't get sore, baby. I thought all I was marrying was an allotment check. Ah, uh, knock it off, will you? Before you turn my head with your compliments. Ah, uh, Quinn, I know we're great buddies, but can you picture us slurping punch with a PTA? Hey, they can't do this to you, Skip. You gotta call the whole thing off. You can't. He's got a hold of my record. He'll throw me in jail. I got a dope a way out. And fast. They moved the wedding up till 6 o'clock tonight. What? Skip, you gotta do something. I gotta do something, yeah. Do something, do something, do, do something. So, wait a minute, I got it. I got it. I got it. There can't be a wedding without the bride, right? So, we sneak Kate aboard the 73, and then uh, and then we find a reason to put out the sea like a, like a submarine alert. And then uh, we, we just drop her off in New Caledonia. New Caledonia, that's French territory. Binghamton can't touch her there. That's a wild idea. But uh, how do you get me past those Cossacks outside? Cossacks, Cossacks. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. They saw Tinker come in with me, and they'll see Tinker leave. <laughs> hey, look at me. I joined the Navy. Yeah, just enough to spare, too. Come on, let's go. Hey, Skip, what happens to me? Well, now, 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 look, uh, uh, Binghamton, they come snooping, so, uh, so you, you stole them, huh? But, Skip, I can't now, stole them. No, no, it's like the fella said. Tis a far, far better thing you do than you've ever done before. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Is that what the fella said? <laughs> oh, no. Here comes Mary and Sam. Duck, duck, duck. Captain. So long, when you see an officer. <laughs> that grease off your face, you're a disgrace to the Navy. Yeah, get down the ball, Bill. Yes, sir. Healthy fellow. Well, oh, tonight's the night, huh, Miguel? Eighteen hundred hours, the chaplain turns you into an honest man. Yes, uh, Kate, uh, Kate just told me. <laughs> Kate, oh, is that bad luck to see the bride before the ceremony? Oh, well, now, that remains to be seen, sir. <laughs> well, we'll see you at the altar, sir. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye, sir. Come on, Tinker, let's go. Come on. Let's make out, Skip. Did you take the wedding off? All right, all right. Stole the gap. Chuck, wind him up. Let go for an act. Hey, Tink, you hiding something? Just me. Hi, boy. Hey, it's Kalani K. Where's Tink? Hey, what's going on? Come on, Chuck. Will you wind her up? Move. We're all open in New Caledonia before the wedding. Please, Skip, you won't start. Oh, come on. Let me try. Hey, look, Skip. Here comes the bride. Hey, wait for me. This is you, love. Hiya, honey. Knock it off. Binghamton's on his way down here, Skip. Oh, no. I had him talk to the MP, so I took it on the lamp. Out the window. Oh, look, Tink. Our engines are stalled. Get down there and fix them fast, will you? Go ahead. And don't dirty that dress. All right. Here, the rest of you guys get ready to move out in a hurry. Yeah, all right, you're in Skipper. Let's move. Come on, say on this. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, ma'am. Hey, Skip, it's too late. Look. Oh, get, get down below. Below. Come on, the rest of you guys act normal. Look sloppy. Look sloppy. <laughs> Uh, hi, Captain. Hi, sir. 
McHale, where do you think you're going? Uh, going? Uh, 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 we're just going to go back to uh, my own island, sir. Yes, sir. I'll pick up my dress white, sir. Well, after all, it isn't uh, every day that a man gets married. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. So I hope you're wearing something borrowed and something blue. Oh, yes. Because you're not going anywhere. We'll send a gig for your dress whites. Nothing is going to interfere with this wedding. Oh, uh, looks like we got some uninvited guests. Hey, you're losing land, abandoned ship! Uh, I mean, battle station! Hey, four guns, gas, man, we're sitting ducks here! Go down there and help a help taker! Come on, we're those agents! Right, let's yeah. go! No, no, no! Come on, oh, get shot, get on that gun! He's abandoned at 11 o'clock, get him! Right, 11 o'clock. I'm gonna get one out of here. What's the point of that thing, a nitwit? Oh, well, I'm sorry, sir, but you're standing right at 11 o'clock. I'm making a quarter at 11! Better make it 10.30, you... Don't you ever wash? Take the gun from this nitwit before he kills us all. Uh, let me help you, ma'am. Uh, sir. Hey, I'm going to put a shot everybody on here anyway. Shoot, shoot up. Hey, duck boys, and here's a big one. How do you try to pull here, Mikhail? Ah, well, ah, well, ah, well, 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 me. You're trying to shanghai this woman. Well, now you hear this and you hear this, good. Nothing, but nothing is going to stop this wedding. Sir! Sir! Ah, how are you, this is Iron Boy? What? All right, down to the chapel forward. Hi! Now, look here, Captain. You can't do this. But, sir, an urgent message from Admiral Rogers. Oh, what does he want? Read it, read it. Yes, sir. Dispatch McHale and PT-73 to Com Fleet immediately to help in searching for a carrier whose planes are bombing your base. Dispatch McHale? I'll do it. Well, but it's an order, sir, and the Admiral said immediately. But the chaplain won't be here for an hour. I'm not going to dismiss you. You're married. Oh, well, uh, shall I radio that to the Admiral, sir? I'll turn the set on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, there we are. It's in... Darn, 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 darn! A chaplain, a chaplain, my kingdom for a chaplain. Sir, I just remember, the captain of a ship can perform the marriage ceremony. Uh huh. Elroy, you've just won yourself the medal of honor, boy. Oh, sir. Ah, <laughs> pet your Bible, pet your Bible. There's one down below. <laughs> Move. Sir, here it is. Bless you, boy. Bless you. <laughs> I've heard of shotgun weddings, but this is ridiculous. Hey, Skip, the engines are fixed. Uh, Never mind, Miss Bell. Nobody's going anywhere. You just stick around. Maybe you'll catch the bouquet. <laughs> All right, join hands. Not you two, the top two. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered oh, boy, today to Boy, the Skipper will go home. I'll take command and we'll all be killed. Thanks again. Yeah, well, don't call me, honey. I'll call you, huh? <laughs> Bye. So long. Bye. 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 You know, Skip, she ain't such a bad dame. Ah, uh, old Kate's a barrel of fun, yeah. Uh, turns out you saved yourself 500 bucks. How about? <laughs> hey! Now I can pay you guys back. Good. <laughs> Why? The... Oh, no! Watch it, Skip. The guys are present. Oh, she did it to me again! Want us to go after her, Skip? Oh, no, nah, you kidding? Let her have the 500. I've never had it so good. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's go. This bachelor is due it complete. <laughs> hey, take, take, give me your edges, baby. Let go forward, let go aft. <laughs> <laughs> 